So what's going on guys? My name is Violence. Welcome to Grid Zombies. Today, we're going to be talking about the Winter Siege event in Call of Duty World War II and what exactly went down post-update 1.07. Okay, so what we're looking at today is three new weapons that were added and two melee weapons. So drop a like on this video if you do go on to learn something and subscribe. Let me know in the comments section if you're new. And if anything here sparks an idea, hit me up over on Twitter, at GrizViolent. It's the best place to keep talking zombies. So Call of Duty World War II has been out a month now, and it seems that zombies is for the most part fixed. There is another weird thing that's shown up, and I'll, I'll show you that later in this video. Right now what we're going to be talking about primarily is the weapons that came with the DLC. And w along with it, how you can earn it yourself, because you can keep buying these winter supply drops over and over and over again but you know it's you are gonna get duplicates and that's part of the problem however you can earn enough armory credits and unlock the winter versions themselves now there is the ice pick and the trench knife we're not really gonna talk about those two our weapon build kits do not cover melee weapons so it's kind of irrelevant but we talk about the guher 43 the chiller in particular has two zombie weapon perks and this is quite amazing it has one that you can see physically in the actual collection, but when you go over to zombies under the actual weapon build kits, you will notice when you select the variant, Headhunter and High Velocity are the zombie weapon perks that we're going to have on this weapon. This is the actual winter weapon you can get and unlock with armory credits, so if you're going to look for one in particular that you're going to want to unlock, the Chiller is definitely the one to go for. I personally really want to unlock this Frosty one of the Sten, but uh, you can choose your own, whichever one you want to unlock. I'm going to try to get them all, but these are the other variants that you can look. Here's the Heroic, and the Heroics always look really good. Now the Rares are very similar to the Standard, there's really no difference at all. And so that's something interesting that I wanted to note. But there's two Epics, right? There's one Heroic, one Rare, one Standard, and that's what we're looking at for each weapon that you're going to be unlocking here. Now the Sten is one that I want to unlock. I think the Frosty is going to be amazing. I wish this had a zombie weapon perk, but it doesn't. This weapon as well can be unlocked by armory credits, and armory credits is something I'm kind of trying to save up. I'm using all my armory credits to unlock all the standard stuff so I can get all that junk out of the way, okay? Now, as I was telling you guys, the rare version is a lot like the standard version. There's really no difference. So you're not going to see a cosmetic change or something drastic when it comes to those. However, I do think more weapons will be coming in the future, primarily during this event. There is other stuff just in the leaks themselves in the game code yet to come. So I do think there's more stuff coming, and I think you should save your armory credits for when this event's about over, because with the stuff that you haven't unlocked yet through winter supply drops, you'll be able to purchase the remainder of that with your armory credits and unlock these frosty weapons. I think the rooted 2 for the Sten might be my favorite looking heroic weapon. Uh, but the frosty version is something very obtainable and so I'm setting my sights on that currently. The GPMG LMG has a little bit of love to offer. It's called Hand Warmer. This is the winter supply drop that you can get or unlock with armory credits. And if you go over to weapon kits you can actually see this variant as well and uh, all the rest of the variants that come along with it. Now this does have a rare version. Here's the hand warmer and what it looks like. It's an epic variant. As I said, there were two epics, one heroic, one standard, and one rare. That's as many as we're getting throughout this entire DLC for each weapon set. The heroic actually looks pretty damn sexy and uh, I would love to get my hands on that. But I'm just setting my sights on the winter themed loot right now because it's in season and the heroics will come and go. But they're not going to be expected uh, when it comes to, because you're seeing a lot of duplicates out there. You really are. A lot of people that are earning these, especially me too, uh, we're getting junk right now. And a lot of duplicates are going down with everyone that I'm earning. So here we are today. Let's just worry about what's coming up and it's double XP. Double XP is actually coming. This event, as you know, is lasting from December 8th through January 2nd, four weeks long. And in the third week of that, we will be seeing double XP. Now, when's this going to last and go down? It's going to happen December 22nd through 
December 26th. It's going to be a weekend event. That's why I don't think it's going to last the entirety of this week. It should end around Tuesday. This is a random drop that's occurring. And it just says missing G43 underscore MP. I don't know what that's about. People are seeing that in their after action reports. And that was the weird thing I was talking about earlier in this video. Not sure what's going on with that. But one thing we do know is how to unlock the rare versions of each one of these weapons, okay? So the Sten was the first one. Unlock your special order, and it's going to be completing 50 games. Doesn't matter what game it is, as long as you're completing 50 games. Apparently this is glitched out, and it doesn't matter as long as you're playing a game, it's working. But I've been playing the 24 Carrington map and getting spawn trap like a mofo. Doesn't matter if I lose, it's still counting and I'm loving it. But one thing I will speak on is that 50 games is a lot of games. That's a huge commitment to complete 50 games. I think what Howard should do, at least for the next weapon, if it's not going to be the Go Here 43, then it should be for the LMG coming up, the GPMG. And it shouldn't be 50 games, multiplayer games, that you gotta complete. They should nerf that down to 30, I think. Uh, I think it would make it better on uh, the overall players that would actually complete this and get these weapons, but maybe they're trying to make it more exclusive, I don't know. But if you want to get these weapons, you can still unlock them with armory credits. However, the rare version right now is what everybody can actually obtain just by doing and completing 50 games each. But you have to collect the order, the special order, for, to make that happen. So you're going to want to go over to Major Howard. Otherwise, you can unlock the winner version in the collections of the Quartermaster. That's always a possibility. But I'm going to complete this. I'm going to definitely get the Go Her 43, the rare version. I'm going to take my time with it, though, because where we had the Ice Pick melee before, the Trench Knife's going to be next, so that'll buy me some time. These melee weapons are pretty stupid, because you can't apply them in your weapon build kits. Same issue we had with Infinite Warfare Zombies, you just couldn't apply it. So why even talk about it? It's not worth the conversation. Now, I'm really excited about getting the Frosty. I know it's not very important when it comes to having a weapon perk in Zombies, but uh, for now, I'm looking for a weapon, you know, that's going to tickle my fancy. And I happen to think that might be the one. I like the daily active bonus coming in getting those armory credits I want to showcase that and also down here in the cave we got Christmas lights and I'm really loving the vibe they gave us a little bit of field down here but nothing really new the only thing I'm seeing is this tea kettle and it's a lot of steam coming from it, it was Rade you having some tea will you smoking a pancake bong and a blitz maybe a cigar and a waffle what were you doing over there Rodeo? what's going on with that smoke going on that tea kettle I am just filled with questions I mean the last time we saw Hank Rodeo was at the beginning of the prologue when he got thrown with the trailer and everybody else did he die apparently not he somehow managed his way through the forest just like the rest of them except he made it to headquarters and the other guys are still on this wicked journey through the final Reich and God knows where else we got winter going down you know I'm coming home from work and I'm realizing that a lot of my time is spent trying to earn these drops and I'm just getting junk after junk I mean a pistol grip it's epic that's cool and everything but how is that great I'm sitting here thinking I'm gonna get something good another epic weapon but it's a duplicate oh it's just like BS on top of BS on top of duplicated BS or else it's an emblem which why would I want an emblem I can create my own emblem you know you know, this is what we're dealing with. This is what we're facing. Triple duplicates. How's that happen? It's a winter supply drop. So just to do a recap with this DLC add-on of the Winter Siege, it will be lasting December 8th through January 2nd. Four-week-long event. We will get four free gifts of winter supply drops throughout this coming Monday. We're going to be having one. You can earn these now by random end match drops, which you guys have probably seen happen quite a bit daily and weekly orders and contracts are great ways you can actually earn winter supply drops and get some of this loot going now so zombies double xp will be lasting and starting december 22nd through december 26th that will somewhat be a weekend double xp weekend for us zombies fans and i recommend you guys subscribe so you can stay up to date and we keep it real here on the channel so i'd like to have you along this journey as we talk about the news updates and what's going on in the perspective and minds of a Zombies player and what we're seeing here in Call of Duty World War II. It's been a fun experience so far. 
and I can't wait to see what more is coming, man. But these are the weapons right now during week one, and uh, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Be sure to subscribe and catch me over on Twitter. I'll see you guys in the next one. Violent out.